In this exercise, we create some drawing geometry by using dynamic dimensions, absolute and relative coordinates, and we'll also enter values as decimal units. Before we begin, first thing that I want to do is right-click on the coordinates area of the status bar and make sure that decimal linear units is set, and I want to change the readout to be relative coordinates instead of absolute. Also want to check and make sure that e-snaps or entity snaps and snap tracking are both turned on. Then we'll begin the line command and starting with the absolute coordinate of 0, 0, and pressing enter. The next thing I'm going to do is drag the cursor to the right and enter a value of 25 units and press enter. This creates the drawing 25 units from the starting point. The next thing I'm going to do is enter shift at 5 less than 90 and press enter. And that will create a line segment that is 5 units long and going at 90 degrees. The next step will be to enter a relative coordinate. So even though I type 10 comma 10, the text is prefixed indicating a relative coordinate. I press enter, the line will be drawn 10 units in the X and 10 units in the Y of where it originated. We'll simply drag the cursor up this time pressing 5 or and then tab, you'll notice that that locks the linear distance at 5 units. I can still move my cursor to define the angle. We'll just go straight up and let it draw the line at 90 degrees. Next, we'll enter at 25 units, less than 180 and press enter. That creates a line segment 25 units at 180 degrees from where it started. Then we'll use dynamic dimensions and just enter 5, dragging the cursor, moving the cursor upwards, and press enter, followed by 10, and moving the cursor to the left and pressing enter, and then ending the line at its beginning point and pressing enter to end the line command. This completes the exercise for drawing with precise values in mechanical drawing environments.